Friday everyone. I'm Ann Burchard with Crafting Experience with a Civil Engineer and today I'm going to be using the Whale of a Time Suite and it's found on page 94. If you don't have a catalog shoot me a message and I'll get one out to you. But what is included in the Whale of a Time Suite is the stamp set. It's a photopolymer. The punch, it's a whale punch builder, so cute. It comes with the cut and embossing folder, has seaweed and coral in the background. Comes with sequins, some sheer ribbon, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then six by six designer series paper. And I tell you what, these are so pretty and so versatile. I know I'm flipping through it fast, but again, go on to page 94 and you'll be able to see all of this. So let's make a card. This is the card that I'm going to be making today. And we're gonna be using some sponging and some embossing. So let's go make a card. Let's clear all this stuff off. Let's set this aside. Now I've already Oops. We are going to start off with Whisper White, and I've cut it to five and a half by four and a quarter. Set this side as well. I'm going to be using a makeup brush, and I got this on Amazon, real inexpensive, but it works really well. I have a chamois. I'm going to put it on my lap so I can clean off the brush in between. I'm going to start off with Pacific Point. It's a good name for a seascape. Load up my brush. So I'm going to be using Pacific Point and the makeup brush. Load it up. Start off the paper. Bring it back onto the project. And I'm going to try to break this up into thirds. So the bottom half the bottom third of the card is going to be my darkest color. I'm going to keep working it. It doesn't have to be solid because it's water. It's going to have some light reflecting in it. Okay, I like that. Close this up. Again, that was Pacific Point. And we're going to move on to Coastal Cabana. Again, a good sea name. I'm just wiping off my brush. I have a chamois on my lap. Load it up. Again, start off and bring it on. And you want to blend the three colors together. Making a nice smooth transition in between. You could easily just do this with two colors. You would still get a really great effect. I still want it a little bit thicker here. A little bit deeper color. And I'm going to call that good. All right, wipe off my brush. Close this guy up. And we're going to move on to Balmy Blue. Make life easy for me. Rotate this around. Pick up some blue, Balmy Blue, and start working it in. Really like this ombre effect. Kind of mimics the depths of the ocean. as much as you can on a card. And I think I'm gonna call that good. Yeah, a little bit here. Yep, I like it. Call it done. All right, close this up. And I'm going to wipe off my brush just so I don't forget. Now let's start stamping. We're gonna kinda stamp. This is from the designer series paper pack. And all I'm going to do is 
cut out, I think I want this blue whale, cut out a whale, and then I can use the punch to really get a good outline of it. You can set this aside, bring in the punch. Now, with this kind of fussy cutting, it's not quite, the paper's not quite long enough to get in there and for me to hang on to it. So we're going to create a cheater. Just a scrap of paper, it can be anything. I've added a little glue at the bottom and I'm going to just tack it. Now I have an awesome handle to stick into the punch and I can adjust it so I have a white outline even all the way around. Now what I like to do is squeeze it just a little bit before punching all the way to make sure that it's even all the way around. Punch. There we go. You can save that cheater for another punch. Okay, I'm going to set him aside. Actually, let's stamp. Yeah, set him aside. And I'm bringing in my Stamparatus. And I've already set up the turtle, the jellyfish, my sentiment, and a, the set of fish, the school of fish. Make sure that's even. I'm going to be using first my embossing buddy. And all this does is help keep stray embossing powder from sticking to where you don't want it. I think that's well coated. And then I'm going to be using Versamark, which is an extra sticky, you see that? Sorry. An extra sticky ink that the embossing powder can stick to. So I'm going to fold this over give it a good massage and I think that's good I'm going to pick this up now I want a couple more fish so I'll take it off the lid add it to my block there we go pick up some more Versamark now I know you can't see it and I'm having a hard time to see it. So I tell you what, I'm going to go put embossing powder on these four images and then I'll have I'll know where to put the rest. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Again, I heat embossed the white embossing powder. I wanted the little critters to go towards the background. The star of this card is going to be the whale. So that's why I chose white. Now let's go ahead and make some of the seaweed. Now with this, I just have a little scrap of Whisper White. Let me set this aside. Whisper White cardstock. There's the large seaweed. I'm gonna start off with Pear Pizzazz. And that is my light color. Ink that up. And then I'm going to bring in shaded spruce. I'm going to use the sponge dauber, pick up some shaded spruce, and then just give this a little more dimension, a little shading if you will. And I think that's good. Oh, well, I knew it. Something's got to get stuck. All right. Just Place it on there, give it a good press. Now, doesn't that look awesome? A little bit more realistic with the two colors. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut that out using my paper snips. And I dislike fussy cutting. If you have a Brother Scan and Cut, perfect time to get that out. And 
almost done. This to me is like hand sewing. I just don't do it. Because I'm no, not the best. There you go. Almost done. It's coming. Getting there, getting there. That'll work. Now, I went ahead and stamped the coral and the smaller seaweed. And for the coral, I started off with Flirty Flamingo, and then I used Calypso Coral to add that shading. So let me close this up. And let's finish putting our card together. Let's start off with the whale. I'm going to grab our stamp and seal, drag and flick backwards, and I'm going to place him right here. Then I'm going to grab my silicone mat so I can add some glue to the back of this. Those three pieces. Give myself some room here. I'm going to come in with the multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm just going to add it towards the bottom. This one is all. So I'm going to start off with the longer seaweed. Place that there. I kind of like how it sticks up. Then I'm going to layer on the coral. And then last, the small seaweed right there. Now let's go ahead and add sequence. I'm going to be using the take your pick tool, the putty end, to pick up the sequence. And what I want to do is kind of create a line that goes like this, from the bottom corner up to the top. Again, using our liquid glue, I'm going to put a couple dots. Go in and pick up some sequence. And it doesn't matter what color. Sequence, whatever gets stuck onto the putty. That's what we're going to be using. It's still going to be stuck. On the opposite end is the piercing tool, and I'll use that to push the sequence into the glue to make sure it's not going to go anywhere. Now don't worry, that glue dries dries clear. So let's add a couple more. Work our way up to the top here. I don't want to put too much glue down to begin with because it will dry before I get a chance to put a sequence on. Another blue. Grab some more. Whoa, I grabbed two that time. There's a little guy. Get in there. And yes, talking to them does help. Let's save that little guy for later. Or not. Using the piercing tool, I can push it into the glue. And again, it'll dry clear, so I'm not, not concerned. Let's add a couple more. There's one, and last one, and we can be done. Oops. Let's see, odd number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sweet. Cap this back up and definitely put the lid on this because I can see that flying everywhere. Put that away. Now let's add, build it to our card. 
I used again Whisper White as my base. I cut it at four and a quarter, scored and folded at five and a half. So it's a top folding card. I'm going to be using dimensional tape. Because it is a large surface, I don't want the card to sag in the middle or get squished in the mail. So this is perfect. You could use Stampin' Dimensionals, but to me, that's a lot of product to use on, that, on just one card. Sometimes it's worth it, but this is definitely easier. We'll go ahead and remove. It's definitely sticky. There we go. And then, oops, I see a sequence coming up. Get back down. There we go. And let's add this. Trying to line this up as best as I can. Nope. Come on. Okay. I've shown you this before. It's undo. You can get it at your craft store and it's awesome. Doesn't ruin your project and it's photo safe. And I can do this again. All right. All right, one more time. All right, I think we got it this time. Yep. Yay. All right. Well, there you have it. Using the whale done sentiment. This would be cute to send for like a congratulations card. Well, don't forget to subscribe and like and share. In the description is a list of all the products I've used for this card, plus a link to my online store. It's open 24 seven. Now, starting August 4th, the new fall and winter catalog will be uh, live so you can start ordering your Christmas and fall stamps. Thank you again for joining me and we'll see you next Friday. Bye.